Hey, everybody. It's uh, me again. It's Aaron Katzman, your uh, trusty financial advisor. And I hope all is well. Happy Passover to all of you um, out there um, who are home, stuck home like me. I know some of you are saying, well, what the heck happened to your hair? Last time you did a Facebook Live, you had like, you were like Kaepernick. You had like a big, big head of hair. And then, you know, we're all stuck here and there are no barbers or anything like that. So I let my daughter Well, what the heck? Even if she screws up, I can just put on the old number four and cut it all off. And that's what I did. So I've got children. Anyway, that's not so important. If you've got any questions or comments about this Facebook Live or anything else, feel free to email me at Aaron, A A R O N, at lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. Or you can check me out on the web as well at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman.com, where you can go to my website. You can see stuff on Twitter. We've got Facebook. Uh, we're starting a YouTube channel. You can check me out on YouTube as well. It's just like going crazy. Nothing like a little corona <laughs> to, put your, to get your marketing up, uh, up to stuff. Anyway, what I'd like to speak about today is something that, had there not been corona, there's a chance I would have even been lecturing on to some group of people who came to Israel uh, for the Passover holiday, and that's about Israeli ingenuity. Now, everybody loves and it gets super excited about Israeli ingenuity, right? It started off back in the old days, there was a company called Given Imaging. They were like the poster child for Israeli ingenuity. Why? Because they put a camera in a pill to help deal with, help treat or, or um, check out whether people had uh, certain types of intestinal and, and colon cancer. People just loved that. That was always like, oh, they put a camera inside a pill. Wow, Israel is super cool. But since then, right, Israel leads the world in cybersecurity and fintech and all these other things. I'm not going to go through the whole laundry list um, that Israel leads the world in. But, um, but what I'd like to talk about, actually, is something that's also out there, which is cool. Um, and that's, can Israel actually help cure COVID-19? Because there's some interesting news out there from an Israeli company, which has been around for a long time and has had all kinds of trouble. They've always tried. They're like, try, try, and try again. They're like, you've got to never give up. And the company called Pluristem Therapeutics. And they announced last week that, and I'm going to read, I'm actually reading it. So if I don't make eye contact, <laughs> you'll forgive me. But they announced that week that four of six Israeli COVID-19 patients treated for a week or more with its PLX stem cells were showing signs of improvement. They obviously are working on stem cells um, and they are trying to incorporate stem cells into a cure for COVID-19, for coronavirus. All the patients in question were on ventilators and were suffering from acute respiratory failure and inflammatory complications associated with COVID-19. Four of the patients also demonstrated a failure of other organ systems, including cardiovascular and kidney failure, indicating critical disease and poor prognosis. The rate of recovery among patients in this condition has been up to 50%. So that's incredible, right? A seventh patient treated with Pluristem's product has not yet completed the follow-up. Everybody is like, you know, they're all sort of cured. Everything has been very, very encouraging. Um, they're off the ventilators and things are, you know, incredible. So obviously, um, you know, that's something which um, is very exciting about. But there's a whole, you know, Israel powers the world. A couple months ago, there was a conference here right before really the, the everything got shut down. Um, there's a company called R Crowd, which is a um, crowdfunding platform for investing in high tech, uh, Israeli high tech, global high tech at this point. Um, food technology, agriculture technology, cybersecurity, cyber security, fintech, the whole the whole gamut. And people come out of that conference and they're like, whoa, that is so, so cool. And the fact of the matter is then they don't really know how to invest in it because a lot of people aren't going to invest in private companies. They look for publicly traded companies uh, instead of which Israel, other than China, I believe, uh, Israel has more publicly traded companies which trade in the United States than any other com company, country, company country in the world so that's pretty cool as well right and there are plenty of what there are all these co companies out there which can give you access to the israeli ingenuity and creativity which is really powering the world you know they used to say i'm looking right now on my laptop and it says intel inside right 
Um, I've said for a long time that it's really Israel inside. It's in many ways, it's Israel which is powering the world. And believe it or not, um, you can getting you can have access to that, right? There's so many companies out there which are publicly traded, which you can means you can actually get access to all the incredible technology which is coming out of Israel. Um, if you've got any questions or comments right now, we're talking about Israeli ingenuity and maybe Israel can help play a role uh, in beating COVID-19, send me an email at Aaron at A-A-R-O-N at Lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. Or you can shake me up on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman.com, A-A-R-O-N-K-A-T-S-M-A-N. Um, and a host of other places, Twitter, like I said, YouTube. Um, we're speaking about Israeli ingenuity and how Israeli ingenuity is powering the world and how you can have access to it. Um, until now, you know, people didn't know. How can I, you know, it's cool. We read about it. We read about all these cool discoveries and, you know, the army technology, which has consumer application. And how do we access that? And they, you know, the fact of the matter is you can access that. If you, got, if you want to know how you can access that, you know, you can check out Globes. There are other places, obviously, Israeli media channels. You can contact me. I'd be happy to speak to you about it as well. Um, so that's just a little taste uh, today into Israeli ingenuity, Israeli creativity. Um, hopefully, Israel can play a role in beating um, coronavirus and get us all back to work and back to our offices and unlock the world so that people can, uh, you know, go back to living normal lives. I don't want to give you my opinion when I think of the lockdown. There, all I can say is there may be other ways, ladies and gentlemen, but we're not going to get to, uh, we're not going to get into that. Um, I've also written tons about uh, Israeli ingenuity, Israeli creativity, how Israel powers the world. So if you've got any questions or comments about that, you can go to my website uh, and check out the articles as well. So it's been fun talking to you. Again, happy Passover, happy Easter. Uh, belatedly to, to those of you out there who are celebrating that. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, again, feel free to email me at Aaron at Lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il, or you can check out my website, AaronKatzman.com. It's been fun speaking to you. Thank you all for joining. Feel free to share and to like it and comment the way, as they say. Uh, and we're going to try and do maybe another one before Passover ends. If not, we'll do another Facebook Live right after Passover. All the best. Have a great day.